and he's our problem solution guy here on the air. Uh, we have been bringing you since about early October mm -hmm. these incredible jump starting machines that allow you to jump start your automobile's battery without a second vehicle, without a good Samaritan, no offense, good Samaritan. Uh, it also has a built in air compressor to it so you can pump up everything from automobile tires to footballs, et cetera. Here's the big story this is brand new today. It is the most powerful unit. Howard, I've known you for nine years. Yes. It's the most powerful unit that Howard has ever brought to us. We have limited quantities to start off with. There's 2,300 units that are available. We've got it at a one day only price of $129.96. I want to run through some things. First of all, it's all about amperage but cranking amps, so 1,400. That's big enough, by the way, in a much smaller box to jumpstart eight cylinder and even diesel yes. motors. Yep, I've done it on my own truck. The 1,400 amps is what you need if you have those really big engines, the ones that are tougher to start. Diesels are always, they take a little bit yep. more cranking amps to get fired up. Mine yep. actually has two full-size batteries in it. Yep, so does mine. So what all does this have? Because what? we don't normally see, quite frankly, units this small with this type of power. Right, right. It used to be power was in a direct ratio to size because if you wanted enough power to jump start an automobile battery, you darn near had to have a battery from an automobile within the unit, which made it extremely heavy and difficult to transport. It does. It has the three most important things you can have with you in your car. Power to jump start your car if the battery dies. Right. More importantly, an air compressor because there's Four tires and a spare, and they're always going low. Right. You're probably going to use that more than anything else. Building gauge that's backlit, so you'll be able to see it when it's dark out. Uh huh. On the front, you've got both 12 volt and USB power, as well as 120 volt power. That's nice. Up to 200 watts. All that packed in. Uh, one oh, nice wait a minute. Thing. Up to 200 watts. 200 watts. So the power inverter on this is stronger than the other units as well. That's nice. And you also have a built-in work light. Mm -hmm. And it's that's adjustable. Free. It aims anywhere you need it on a swivel. This, this is really a cool system. Now, by the way, it's from Stanley. Yes. And Stanley, they have been the tool people for well over 100 years. This is the first time that we've been able to make this unit available. And it is our most powerful unit for the entire yes. season. Yep. And Stanley alone it says it all. I've had power stations in my car for over five years. Right. All Stanleys never let me down. I still have the original one that I had from way back. And, and they are reusable over and over and over again. And rechargeable over and yes. over and over again. So here's the scenario. Uh, we had snow last night for the very first time, and we had this wonderful weather through all of November. Yes. For the first few <laughs> days of December. And then overnight, wow, it was like somebody slammed it's the door here. and it got cold. So overnight, I noticed that the little gauge on my dashboard that says your tire pressure mm -hmm. is low, it came on overnight when it got colder. Colder temperatures will constrict the air in your tire. And if you don't have enough air in your automobile tires, first of all, you're risking damaging the tire. Yes. It's not safe. It can cause something called hydroplaning on, on wet roads. And because I'm a cheapskate, it's important to consider you burn more gasoline. Mm -hmm. So you'll use that compressor. Absolutely. But even if you just jumpstart one vehicle with it, you'll appreciate it. Because it used to be you had to have two cars, big long jumper cables, and if you hook them up incorrectly. Like I just did? Yep. There it is. I put it on wrong. So if you have no idea what you're doing, as long as you have your Stanley power station, open your hood, find the battery, and clamp them on there. That nice loud tone and the red light here is saying that I have them on backwards. You don't you get do-overs with jumper cables yep. when you're hooking them up to automobile batteries. You uh, hook up jumper cables incorrectly. It's instant sparks, possible damage to yep. your sensitive electronics, maybe even injuring yourself. Now I have them on correctly. No light, no tone. I know it's safe. I can turn the keyless safety switch to on, and I have 1,400 peak amps. That's, That's Instant starting power. You're not waiting around recharging this battery. Right. Jump starting it just like you have another vehicle, but no need for that other vehicle. Uh, with any four cylinder, any six cylinder, motorcycle batteries, could be, you know, yard tractors, big Kubota, farm tractors, et cetera, and even your eight cylinder, and in many cases, your eight cylinder diesel. Yes. And this is the first time that I've had a unit this small. <laughs> Pardon Bless me. You. I knew that sneeze was coming. <laughs> Forgive me. The poor people in the audio booth <laughs> had no warning. Uh, this is the first time that we've had one, Howard, that you and I both feel confident will get virtually any vehicle on the road Absolutely. in a small size. Here's the air compressor. It comes with Stanley's signature SureFit tip. I like that. It threads right onto the valve stem. As soon as you put it onto the valve stem, the gauge is going to show you exactly the pressure. So it your becomes tire. your tire pressure mm -hmm. gauge. And then when you turn it on, again, it's, it's backlit. So you'll be able to see the pressure in your tire and know exactly when to turn it off. The switch is right here. 
fill it up, turn it off, the light goes off. It's so portable, it goes right to the flat tire. Like yep. we've said before, if the boat trailer behind the shed, the lawnmower in the garage, uh -huh. wherever it is, in the back of your car. So when that light comes on your dash, you don't have to do anything but find a Take safe spot, out. pull over and fill up your tires. Uh, you know, if you're gonna own an automobile, if you're gonna have a motor vehicle, there are, there are certain senses of responsibility that you should be accountable for. And it should be everyone. Whether you're young, old, guys, gals, doesn't matter. Checking your air pressure is something you should be doing at least every other time that you fill up your automobile. Uh, it will save you money. So the big story here, and the thing that actually Howard and I were really excited about, this is a small unit. It is. In size and also in weight, this thing is about half the size of what it would have been a year ago to be able to offer you 1,400 peak amps of cranking power to get a vehicle started. That's the most power that I've been able to bring you all year mm -hmm. and the most power that I think I've ever seen in a portable. Here's the other factor. When you go to recharge it, yes. I don't have a recharging unit nope. that I know darn well I'm gonna lose or misplace. Stanley built it right into the unit. Let's read yep. off some of these claims 96 for us. hours mm -hmm. extended runtime for the Samsung Galaxy 6, the iPhone 5S and 6 smartphones. Up to 48 hours of extended runtime for the iPad Mini 2 and the iPad 3 tablets. So you're going to use this in power outage situ Absolutely. situations to keep your, your mm -hmm. all important high tech electronics going. You've got a 12 volt power supply. Yep. 12 volt and a USB under there. Yep. So the 12 volts just like the accessory outlet in your car and the USB. And then you've got a button to turn on the USB right here. Okay. Turn that on, you have your USB. The 12 volt outlet is always hot. Just plug something Great. in and you've got that power. And then you've got the 120 volt inverter. Simply switch that. So the inverter's on and you've got 120 volts of power up to 200 watts. What an inverter means is basically anything that you normally plug into your home outlet, right. a regular outlet, now can be plugged into this and you can be on the go portably. The lamp that I've got sitting next mm -hmm. to me, uh, I'm powered with this. The TV behind us is powered, is also powered by that by unit it. right there. So it's a higher wattage inverter. It's a much higher peak performance starter. This runs at a normal 700 amps, but the cranking power is double that. Right. And here's the big story. With most vehicles, <clears throat> diesels especially, it's the amount of cranking amps that happen in that first second when you turn the key, and it has to be enough to be able to basically ignite that starter and get it spinning. Once it's spinning and it's running, the alternator on the vehicle will recharge the battery. Comes with all the inflation accessories too. Nice. So and a little place for, for you to put them so you don't emergencies, lose. but it's also good oh, for the fun better. times. Yep, much better. And You're the recharging the game later on today. Yes, the recharging is right here. That cube that you've talked about losing, Dan, is right. gone. Stanley has built it right in. So any extension cord will work. Plug it on there. When you get it home, charge it up for 24 hours to make sure it's full. Okay. There's a battery gauge right here. How front. long will this last in my vehicle charged? Well, as batteries naturally lose a little bit, we recommend that you recharge it just to top it off every month, okay. or if you've used it. So if you've jump-started a car, powered up something, inflated your tires, plug it in and recharge it. You can't overcharge it. It's gonna tell you and shut off when it's full. Okay, there's a lot of ladies out there who say, for the guys out there, I have no idea what to get them. Guys are hard to shop for. No, they're not. Uh, we've been making similar devices available since early October, but every single one of them has been smaller in its power yes. and bigger in its size. This is the most powerful jump starter that I've had all year. And as far as I know, it's the most powerful one that's coming in. We just got them in today. Today's the first day of seeing them. We brought in, what, 2,300 units. We've had several hundred that have been ordered. I will say this, they're a little more expensive. We're seeing these $99 units, but they're wimpy. Right. Yep. This they thing is just grunt power. Free shipping and handling, and on easy pay. Five payments of $25.99. Howard, that's a winner. That's a Thank great product. You, Dan. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Everybody, welcome back to Sundays with Carolyn and Dan. If you're just tuning in, good morning. We are live on my Facebook page today, which is Carolyn Gracie QVC. So in between.